Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Scott Soldiers. Today I want to share with you my sets of Canada's Governor General's Horse Guards, not to be confused with the Governor General's Foot Guards, which you saw in episode 51. Known as the Governor General's Bodyguards back in the 19th century, it underwent a name change after amalgamation in late 1936 with the Mississauga Horse to become the Governor General's Horse Guards. This date is significant because Britons introduced these figures circa 1938, prior to the Royal Visit to Canada in 1939 and prior to World War II. Today, it is a Cavalry Armoured Reconnaissance Regiment, the most senior reserve regiment and the only household cavalry regiment in the Canadian Army. It celebrated its 200th anniversary in 2022 and is based in Toronto. I'll leave links to the regiment in the description paragraph. Like other Canadian figures, Britain's was the first to provide these back in 1938 with set number 1631. According to James Opie, this was based on Britain's set number three, the 5th Dragoon Guards. For me, this was another one of those rabbit holes that I fell into. My set numbers 31 mounted figures, including this post-war four-figure box set number 9257. My figures have the white horse tail plume, not the original red color that Britons initially offered. The set production was halted in 1941, but resumed again in 1946, only to end finally around 1965. This set, like the RCMP and Princess Patricia's, are the most prolific of Britain's Canadian figures. Finding the horse guards is not that difficult as you can see, and as far as I know, only Britons produce them as mounted figures. These nostalgia figures are the Governor General's Bodyguard set number N297 and interestingly they have a box which accompanied them. I point this out because I had read somewhere that Seamus O'Wade sold his sets both boxed and unboxed and were a limited production. So look at these figures. The color of the uniforms is almost identical to the Britain's Governor General's Horse Guard set number 1631. As you can see from the base, the nostalgia figures are simply stamped with a cursive letter N and the set number. The following sets were made by Soldier Soldiers, formerly located in London, which sold directly from its store in Lambeth within walking distance of the Imperial War Museum. While the store is gone, you can still find sets for sale online and at toy soldier shows. The first is Governor General's Bodyguard 1890, number C142A. You can see how a similarity in the uniform style with the Britain's mounted troops. And color-wise, you could include the nostalgia figures. This band set, number 245, appeared in episode 12. While the box labeled this as Governor General's Bodyguard Drum Corps, I'm not sure if the uniform color is right. The style of uniforms is reasonably accurate and you can see that from this black and white photo of the band, although the cross straps on the figures are backwards from the photo. I would guess that the band's uniforms were a dark blue with red trim as per this more contemporary photograph shows, but maybe it was red in the late 19th century. I'm happy with my horse guards as they show the regiment in several uniform styles and over periods of time, and I'm appreciative of the efforts that the three makers did to give the regiment a presence in the toy soldier market. While the horse guards carry on, it would be interesting to see Britons reissue this set if it still possessed the molds, given how few mounted regiments have survived in the post-war era. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and if so, hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you are ever in Toronto, check if the horse guards are performing at a public event and enjoy the spectacle. As I said, there are not many of these mounted regiments remaining, so take advantage of any opportunity to see them. 
If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, keep collecting.